This phenomenon that happened right after the election is phenomenal. Now guys, there's something on the internet going around there calling it the Trump effect. And the Trump effect ranges from deranged lefties losing their shit to the stock market going up to certain organizations around the world calling for peace. Now, I did a video on how a couple of nations wanted peace, but the Trump effect goes well beyond that. So let's start with the left losing it. As you guys have seen on the Angry Prep, I did a video on how this their reaction to him winning is not funny anymore. It was funny the first couple of days, but now it's getting dangerous because they are throwing threats out there and talking about what they want to do and, and, and all this other shit. Now, they can easily say they're just performing on their video, but the one guy, the black dude, this asshole here, this guy was dead serious about it because this threat came back in January of 2024 or February of 2024. Nonetheless, earlier this year. That's watching that. Then you got people stating, or rather a college saying that they needed to give kids a day off after the election because of Trump's win. They gave kids a day. So the Trump effect is it starts all the way down there to going all the way up. They saw the stock market shoot up the day after he won the election. And everybody's like, if you know what a 457 is, if you don't, I don't want to explain it. But it's sort of like a, a second pension on top of your pension kind of deal. But anyway, we saw that shoot up dramatically after Trump went and the stock market went crazy. Then you got China calling for coexistence and peace. And that they want to have a, a, a meaningful relationship. You have Saudi Arabia, if I'm not mistaken, and Qatar kicking out Hamas or Hezbollah members. You have Hamas wanting peace. You have Russia talking about taking the talk of ending the Ukraine war with Trump seriously and how Russia and the administration backs it. Saudi Arabia wants to strengthen the relationships between the United States and Saudi Arabia. It, guys, the fact that Trump won. And now you have China, India, Russia looking at Trump and going, listen, we're going to create this, this peaceful reunion. We're going to talk about ending the war in Ukraine. We're going to talk about ending the war with Israel and Hamas or Hezbollah. Like these people came to like they came to play. And the craziness about it is, is that they didn't do this with Biden. and They, did, they didn't do it to Kamala Harris. And if Kamala Harris would have won, we would have been toast. Because this is evident that we would have been toast. Because they would have not taken that lady serious as they all know she's a babbling moron. And the craziness about it is, is the people who voted for her said she's smart. Well, she ain't that smart. She lost. Now, of course, the blame game is going into effect. They blamed Obama for her loss. They blamed Biden for her loss. They're blaming everything under the sun, man. I think if the fucking earth shifts the wrong way, they am like, ah, it was that. The earth shifting took people's attitudes out of the game. And, and that's why they voted for Trump. It, I wouldn't be surprised if more stupid excuses came out. And if they have more, I will do a video on that. Eric Adams is talking to Donald Trump as to how to deal with the migrant problem or the illegal immigrant problem here in New York City. Eric Adams already cut off their, their money flow to their cards, their, their what you call a program so that they can buy meals. He just cut that shit off cold turkey the day after Trump won or two days after Trump won. He pulled that move. So apparently, guys, even Eric Adams, who doesn't like Trump, sat down and, and is working with him. Eric Adams, the piece of shit that he is, is sitting down and talking to Donald Trump. And they had this talk, I think, before, behind the scenes, if you will. And now it's coming to fruition. You have the European Union that wants to start buying gas from Russia, from the United States, excuse me, cutting out Russia or not buying as much from them. Everybody seems to be stepping back from Israel. Israel... Is the only one that hasn't responded to this at all. At least I haven't seen anything. Maybe if I'm wrong, I'll put a correction down here now. But if I'm not, you won't see anything. And they seemingly are the only ones that did not react to Trump winning and talking about ending their bombardment on these other countries. And he also wants to shorten term limits for congressmen, which I think everybody's been asking for for a long time. There is no reason why we should have skeletons dancing in Congress, they should do, they should get up to probably 70 years old, 65, 70, and then out. I would say 65. The fire department, I think it's 63. No, the fire department is 65. It should be 65 years old, then you're out. Kick this shit and go. 
This fucking staying there until you die is bullshit. And the reason why they hang on to it so long is because of the power they have for the duration of their life. And they have this power forever. Which doesn't make sense because if you are in that rank for that long, you're going to have that power for the rest of your life. That power's not going to go anywhere. People are going to be like, oh, you're such and such? We got you. And that's it. So he wants to shorten that as well. I mean, he's he's going to get into the office. He's going to hammer out a lot of shit. Now, listen, he's going to do shit that I don't like. I don't like this drilling shit. I don't like this drill baby drill shit. People are like, well, we got to drill for oil. We got to come up with another way. One part of me seems to think that all of this unity that's being talked about that hasn't been done yet, but they're talking about is like, yo, was that part of the plan? Is he part of a plan that we don't know about? Is he part of some fucking 2050 plan or 2030 plan? Who knows? Because all of these people all of a sudden just fell in line and was like, we want to work with Donald Trump? Or did they hate Kamala Harris and Biden that much? They wanted to give him no respect. And that was their fuck you to the Biden administration teaming up with Trump. There is that as well. So, guys, this is The Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching The Angry Truth Channel.